I'm a big advocate of single stitches. I know some folks like to do a cross stitch, but I think that the likelihood of a snag or a loose track coming to fruition is when we use single stitches. I like to make sure that I do really close stitches with single stitches, and I like to make sure that I lay my tracks right above one another so that if the client decides to move their hair in any direction, they won't feel like there's gonna be any gaps. So you could see here, I'm folding the track using the net as my anchor, since there is no braid there, and I'm laying it right back on top. So you could see the difference between the bottom track and the track above. We've gone ahead and done her install, we've layered her hair, we blew it out and prepped. And now we're gonna get started with the color process. As you can see, I've mixed my lightener. It's a nice thick consistency, which is gonna be great for balayage and hand painting. I'm gonna apply my gloves and I'm gonna get started in the back of her head. The way that I color extensions all depends on the desired look of the client. Jocelyn showed me a picture. She said she wanted some balayage. She wanted something that was low maintenance. So we are just painting and I am actually painting without using any saran wrap or foils because I want it to be very, 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 very soft. So we're going ahead and going in with V sectioning and just softly painting it on the hair and going back in from underneath and applying the color in a backwards direction just so it is very soft and there is no line of demarcation. So I have finished painting my client Jaslyn's hair. I'm gonna let this sit and process for about 15 to 20 minutes and then take her to the shampoo bowl. Hey guys, Yune here. We finished our look with Jaslyn. We did some color, we gave her fullness, we added some extensions, and I'm so excited to share what's ahead with you. If you wanna get this look, go ahead and click the link around this video. And thank you to our friends over at Indique for partnering with us to create this look, and stay tuned for more hair tutorials.